Welcome back everyone, Adrian Shadia here from Michigan Unknown. It is the 12th day of the new year, 2019, and we are back at it, and no better place to start than the Detroit Institute of the Arts. And this place is top six in the country for its collections and its art. So um, let's see what this place is all about. This place actually opened in 1885 and it was originally on Jefferson Avenue, which is right here in Detroit, but because of the rapidly expanding collection, they had to move it here to Woodward, where it currently is, and that happened in 1927. The purpose of this exhibit here is to show the expressions of the Native American clothing and it really contributes to three things, their community style, their personal identity, and their Native American identity. And as you th see through all the intricate designs and beautiful colors, and there's all expressing something or for a purpose more or less. And it's really just incredible some of these hand woven, woven designs that they came up, came up with for just about everything they wore. This is quite the badass Native American piece right here. It's all bear claws. So we found this really cute little cafe and as you can see it's all natural lighting it's like a greenhouse type roof and we got coffee and a blueberry muffin and it's in the center of the museum too so you can stop along your way while looking and grab a muffin. So we just found this really cool staircase to get up to the second floor and it's kind of like a Roman, you know, religious type of uh, type of level here, or at least this room is, and it's, it's pretty cool. You can see behind me. So now we have found ourselves on the second floor overlooking where we just were eating. And it's kind of cool. Really neat setup that they have going on here. So I would say so far since we've been here, this little room would be my favorite just because it has such like a dark Romanian castle feeling and it reminds me almost of the movie The Nun that's a part of the Conjuring world movies. So but yeah, there's just very cool detailed stained glass and some Roman art in there. So I would say so far this is my favorite.
And this is what I've been looking for. The knights. Look at those things. So cool. So you know you're doing something right as an artist if you have to go up close to see if it's actually popping out or not, which was the case for this image behind me here. It's pretty wild. So that is going to conclude today's video at the Detroit Institute of the Arts. We had, as usual, a great time. And we've been to a few other art museums around the country and this one definitely stacked up with one of the better ones. Um, also a couple things I did want to make sure I mentioned. If you live in Macomb, Oakland, or Wayne County, you get free general admission, which is really cool. And they are closed on Monday, so something to keep in mind. Every other day of the week, they are open. Yes, and to point out, we only paid $7 for this whole trip, which was just to park. And I would say it's definitely worth it. And there's so much history and culture inside to see. And I, we definitely really liked it. We're going to come back soon, for sure, just yes. to be able to read everything and look at everything and we didn't even get through the whole museum so we would definitely recommend to check it out especially on a day where weather is not too good or if it is good whatever come down here and check it out but um, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we also will be uploading a ton of pictures on our instagram so be able or look for that <laughs> coming up so yeah stay tuned for another episode next week See you next time. Bye.